I recently had a letter from my doctors to go in and book my health check. Now the health check is something I think it must be once every 10 years because I don't remember having one for the last 10 years. So got that, took the letter in and they said to me, yeah, you can have your health check, but we've got to book you in for a blood test first, two weeks before your health check. So I've just had the blood test um, and then the health check after Christmas. So it's a lovely bright crisp morning anyway. Might go and have a cup of coffee because we've got a while before I start work. My arm's gone half numb now because somebody's just stuck a huge great big needle in it. Okay, so I'm doing the typical bloke thing the blokes tend to do and that's a last minute bit of Christmas shopping. I must admit I've got most of the stuff I need. This is just a little few little bits left over. So not every family member is as easy to buy for as I thought it would be. Um, simply because sometimes you don't buy presents for them and then one year they decide to start buying presents for you and you think, ah, what do I get them this time? So it's not always easy to get something when you're not sure what you're supposed to get in the first place. Something that's a bit unusual for me, a bit different, is that the place I work at now, we do a um, Secret Santa. Now I never did Secret Santa before, but we've done it for the last few years. Secret Santas are okay, it's just that you spend a sort of small amount of money, um, usually on somebody you don't know that well, because you don't know what to get them, so you end up buying booze or something like that, because you don't really know that person that well. So this year, for the first time, I've actually got somebody I've known for a very long time. Yes! I'm proud of you! So somebody I've known for 16, 17 years, unlike other years where I'm not sure what I'm getting, don't know what I'm getting people for, this person I know, I've known long enough to know what she likes and what she doesn't like. Most of the stuff I got already earlier, it's just a little top up bit. So realistically for me, the only person I really buy for nowadays is a bit for the kids and then for my mum. So I'm not really buying many Christmas presents, I don't have a significant other or anybody like that to enjoy buying things for. So it makes a change to have the opportunity to buy something for somebody I know and spend a bit more time looking and shopping for stuff rather than just going out and getting a case of wine or something. That's quite nice, it's quite good and it's made a change. So come to the car show um, and just look at the weather. It's horrible. It is absolutely soaking. Unfortunately, this is a Christmas event, so for Christmas it's supposed to be a really nice, great turnout, great event, but this weather is just awful. Utterly horrible. What a shame. It really isn't busy at all, unfortunately. So unfortunately you would have to say it's a washout simply because of the weather. But it's the last one of the year so they'll be back again next year. So a little bit of Christmas has sort of crept in a bit. I've got the earring, so I've got the Santa earring in. And I've also been to a kid's Christmas party today. There was a woman doing glitter tattoos. She did the kids some sort of Pokemon tattoos or the Pokemon Pokeball. Whilst I was there I thought, why not, can I have my green hair and blue eyes? Last night to go to the Dirty South Christmas meet, last show of the year, I wore my um, elf's outfit, or elf, say elf's outfit, it was really just an elf t-shirt that I've got. I did have my elf hat with me as well. So unfortunately we didn't get to take many pictures there because of the weather, it was raining quite hard. So I used the phone to take pictures because I didn't want to get the camera wet, because the camera doesn't like the wet very much. Um, and most of the people had gone by the time I'd got there because I was watching the football. The World Club World Cup, which Liverpool won for the first time in their history. Um, it's only the second English club that's won it. I went down to the pub afterwards. The pub, as always, was all done up well for Christmas. All the lights, all the um, decorations and everything put up for Christmas, which was very nice. Oscar was very lively this time. Last year I went to see Oscar, gave him his present. He was sort of half asleep. It was a bit sort of tiring for him. This time he was fully awake and fully aware. Gave him a couple of his treats, which he like scoffed in seconds. Um, and he came and sat with me, but he did sort of treat me to some rather nice smells afterwards, because he does tend to have a habit of letting one go occasionally. And it's not exactly the nicest smell, but he's a lovely dog, so I don't care. Um, but it's nice to go there, have a couple of drinks, meet people, say happy Christmas to them. I will hope to get there before Christmas if I can. Okay, so this is not so much Christmas tree as such behind me. I mean, it is a Christmas tree behind me, clearly. It's more of a case of Christmas trees, if you see walking down here. There's some very nice Christmas trees and Christmas decorations, of course, Christmas baubles. It's not so wintry out here, it's not that cold. So the lights are nice, give it a bit of warmth to the look of it. 
feels nice it's very festive cheery it's quite a nice thing to do really makes a bit of a difference from just your standard christmas tree with loads of flashing lights and colors on it whereas here you've got the lights virtually in all of the trees all of the trees that sort of face up to the road anyway even your local restaurants have got a little red tree outside and the lights they probably have all year round but they've got some nice happy new year happy christmas stuff up now of course for me i think there's probably a better way of doing this or shall we say there must be a better angle to get these trees at So there we go, it's nearly all over. I've got to work Christmas Eve, then off Christmas Day, then back in straight again on Boxing Day. As I said, I will be out on Christmas Day, probably try and get some drone footage if I can, see how it goes, um, depending on the weather, of course. It'd be nice to get out and have a nice sort of quite crisp afternoon, hopefully a nice bit of a wander around, bit of time to myself. Got me wish jar out. Um, this is my wish jar, um, full of wishes. Obviously my wishes haven't really come to much, have they? Um, but you know, next year, who knows what goes on. To all my viewers, subscribers, and everybody else that watches these videos, have a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get everything you want. And I shall see you in the next video. So the Christmas Day video, you will see after Christmas, as long as it's not too hectic for me to upload it. But I will see you then, and I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic Christmas Day, and get everything you want, and have loving people around you. Thank you. Happy Christmas. Thanks for watching. Actually, whilst I'm at it, for any of you that have got a Google Home or Google Phone out there, try a bit of this. Hey Google, happy Christmas. And happy holidays to you too.